Hey guys, this is National Master Kevin Yang back at it with another video. So this time we will be talking about um, what's going on, right? So when you're a beginner, what do you do? What are the books? What are the games? What are the things you do to get better? Well, let me tell you a little bit about my progression. So from about, you know, like unrated to like 1200 USCF, I was mainly like, okay, let's just play, right? So I went to like tournaments like crazy. I was like, I was like the kind of person who went to tournaments, who had fun. That's all that mattered. And then when I got to around, you know, 1100, 1300, um, maybe it was around 1,000 level. I got a coach, and not afraid to call him out, Mario Modio, best coach, um, really good coach. I think he taught me a lot. He taught me the things I needed to become a better player. He gave me the materials, and... I mean, I thought they were really great materials. And that's why I improved under basically what he's taught me, all the puzzles he's shown me, the homework he's given me, the sort of practice that I've got. So I just want to share with you how my journey was. And so if you, if we just look at... So if we if we if we look at the the progression, so if we if we look at the progression of me, right? So I am twenty three fifty right now, and if we look at the ratings history graphs, right? So I started from five seventy five, and you might think, okay. Well, started from 575. What's so special? Now, you realize I started in about 2011, so nine years ago, almost coming on 10 years, so very close. Um, so, if we look at this, I was going up really fast to about 1200, and actually, when I was about 1000, I said, to take my game to the next level, I needed coach. So, because I was still young back then. And when I was young, um, I knew how to play. I knew how to do things. But um, I wasn't exactly the kind of person who could understand an entire book by myself. And... Shortly enough after I got Mario as a coach, he recommended a few books. I looked at them. They were bought. had a hard time understanding them. And Mario said, you know, we're going to put them aside for now. And then we are going to return to these books. But the first things first, the fundamentals in chess is first getting the puzzles right so my first book was about checkmates checkmate in one checkmate in two checkmate in three right if you look on chess.com if you look at play um puzzles right you can basically do drills right checkmating drills Two rook mate, rook mate, two bishops mate, and all that. There are so many resources out there for checkmates. And to me, when I first began, I said, you know what? I gotta learn how to end the game. And so that's what I did. I just practiced ending the game. Even though I didn't win a single tournament game yet. I said, I gotta prepare for the possibility that I'm going to win a game. So I did. Um, I practiced all my checkmates, made in one, made in two, made in three. I just said, 
check, check, check. And the advice people will tell you when you consider a move is checks, captures, right? And of course, just calculation, or some people might have another name. Um, just checks, captures, I, I don't know why I'm blanking out on the third C, but the goal is here is that I don't think, I don't think recommending a book to 800 rated players is the way to start. The first way to start is by doing puzzles. And here's a question I get a lot. And I ask myself this sometimes. I think to myself, okay, so I do all these puzzles. I work, I, I look all these look all these patterns, but what if they never show up in a game? What do I do? Well, of course I ask myself that because I at my level I still do puzzles. Like for example, I have this book the Encyclopedia of Chess Combinations. Now, this is an extremely advanced book. This is one of those you will find very difficult. That these combinations are my level combinations. Right? I have this book. Um, this book is called Quality Chess Puzzle Book. Right? So, if you look at it, these are Basically, these are combinations that come from a game. So, it is really complicated, these things. But at the start, it's all about these checkmates. It's all about, if we go back, um, attacking, right? Maybe the advantages. You have drills on chess.com. I suggest you make an account on chess.com. This is not an ad for chess.com. But there are resources that you can use on chess.com that can benefit you and just work on your chess in general. And so let's continue, shall we? So when it comes to me, um, hmm, I had a few tournaments where I had a, a really good performance. I was like, booming. I just went from like 1100 to 1300. I, there was one tournament where I went all the way from here to here. There was one tournament where I went from 958 all the way to 1100 something, right? So it's sometimes I got lucky and sometimes I just played well. But it's all that work, right? So at this point, at this point, around 2013, about two years into my studies, I thought, I am having to go for it. And at this point, you know, surely Mario taught me about the puzzles and stuff. He kept doing the puzzles. But here, we started thinking about, you know, let's bring back the books. Let's talk about the part of the games. Let's talk about what you want to play at the start, right? So at around the 1200, 1300 level, you start to think, okay, what kind of game do we want to play? What kind of opening do you want to play? What kind of middle game? What kind of end game? And we started breaking down those phases, right? So my first opening, as I told you, Let's use the 23 dragons board. As white, I played e4. As black, I played e5. Very simple, I just played it like everyone else. Knight f3, knight c6. So as white, I played bishop c4, right? And as black, well, I played knight f6. And after knight g5, I played d5. I played this for a long while, right? So sometimes, 
Some people are good at learning multiple openings. I wasn't the kind of person. I just stuck to one. I grounded it hard. I didn't care if people looked for my games. I'm just that kind of person. Right. So let's move on. So at this point, you want to know what kind of books do I recommend? 1200, 1300. What do I recommend? Um, well, at the point of 1200 to 1300, Usually, if, usually a normal chess player, right? So I'm talking about the ones who are like prodigies, who already know the game, like all the way. They already know it somehow, and they don't need anyone to help understand the book. I'm not a prodigy. I had to work hard to understand the book, and I had people around me that could help me on that. So one of the books that required some help in reading about was The Art of Attack. And this, of course, um, I read it through, uh, I believe there's a few printed pages that uh, Mario gave me. And then we have another book, right? So we talked about the opening, middle game, end game. Um, so I was told the book Mastering the Chess Openings by John Watson. And what's weird is I have played the author like twice, maybe three times. French Defense, favorite opening, loves writing books, awesome books, writing about everything, such a great writer, right? So all these kind of, you know, start of the game, middle game, end game. Usually at this point, you tackle a little bit of the middle game, but you don't want to go too deep on it because sometimes it's at the advanced level that you actually hone in on. So I will explain it more, but at 1200 to 1300, I started out with Art of Attack. So during um, my lessons, I would go, I would go over games, right? Sometimes I would play against my coach Mario and sometimes we would talk about games right we would talk about um, games in a particular book so he would show me a particular game and then we'd talk about it we would say okay what are the mistakes what did each player do well and just go through the games because surely that's an advanced thing but with the help of a coach that's what's going to get you there and so if you're working alone, well, I suggest, of course, go with the drills, go with the practice, go with some of the books, right? So one of the books that you'll need, maybe some, a lot of, um, someone to explain it for you, is how to reassess your checks. So this is another one where you really have to think about it because some of the text is really complicated. But if you have your right hand man, that's great. So thank you for listening. I'll cover more about my journey. Thank you.